Come, baby. Enjoy this great game. What is going on, everybody? And welcome back to the Hum Baby Baseball channel. This is Eric, and today this is a special Patreon request video from Svenja Braun. I want to thank you so much, longtime supporter of the channel. And if you're already a patron or member and you haven't requested a video or you'd like to, just let me know anytime and I'll get on top of it. And if you're interested in supporting the channel, please check out my Patreon link in the description or, of course, the join button down below. That would be freaking awesome. Thank you so much, guys. And I want to let you know before I get into it that I know it's been a few days. I am working behind the scenes and getting things set up, trying to up the production value and everything. So behind the scenes, a lot is going on with Hum Baby Baseball. And y'all will see all of that really, really soon. Behind the scenes, it's going down. So anyway, let's talk about the San Diego Padres. And the first interesting news is they actually DFA'd a few days ago Luis Perdomo. It's a pretty big name. It kind of pops. Luis Perdomo. That dude's good, right? Eh, he's, he's decent. He's decent. He used to be a starter in the rotation, but they realize he just gets hits too. He, he gets hit hard quite often. He does have a solid sinker. He induces a lot of ground balls. So they decided let's try him in the bullpen, and he was actually pretty good out of the bullpen in 2019 for the most part, even though, as I recall, the Giants had a lot of success against him. But anyway, he's okay. But in 2020, in only 10 appearances, he got hit pretty hard. Wasn't great. And they decided to go ahead and let him go. They DFA'd him, and also he got hurt. He had a couple injuries, and now he's had Tommy John. He's going to miss most, if not all, of 2021 anyway. So the Padres decided to DFA him. Nobody claimed him, and now he's a free agent. I think he'll sign somewhere eventually for 2022, but we ain't going to be seeing Perdomo for quite a while. So he is out of the picture for the Padres, but the Padres are in the game for another starter. And they already have a decent rotation, especially if you count a couple of prospects I'm about to talk about. But the problem is Mike Clevenger, Luis Perdomo is not the only Tommy. Everyone has Tommy John. You're not a pitcher until you have Tommy John. So Clevenger wants to be a pitcher. He's going to have Tommy John. But according to Kevin Acey of the San Diego Union Tribune, the Padres have already contacted Trevor Bauer's agent. They said, let us know what's up. We're interested. And they've also got in touch with Blake Snell and his agent trying to figure out, you know, what kind of contract he's looking for. So the San Diego Padres are not playing. They are going for, and they've been doing this in the last few years. They are going for broke. They are going for everything. And last year, it finally paid off. This wasn't no wild card team, even though they won the wild card because of the Dodgers. This is a legit team right here that could go all the way. Unfortunately for them and for everyone else, like the Giants, we're in the division with the Dodgers. So it's just... I mean, what can you do when you got that team? But I think the Padres are matching up damn well with the Dodgers. And look out for them next year. They are going to be heavily favored to win a wild card and possibly compete for a division title even against the Dodgers next season. That's how good this team is. And when you look at the rotation right now, maybe you're like, well, who they got? You know, yeah, Lamette. Who else? Well, don't forget about two guys I'm about to talk about. One of them made their Major League debut this year in 2020, and that was Luis Patino, and he is very strong. He struck out 21-17, and 17, mostly out of the bullpen, but he's going to be a candidate for the rotation in 2021, and he can strike out a ton of guys. He had a sick minor league career. Mackenzie Gore is another dude. He tore the California League to shreds in 2019. In 15 starts, he had a 1.02 ERA with 110 strikeouts in 79 innings. If that is any indication of what this guy can do, then look out for that rotation, even if they don't sign anyone, which they will. But assuming they that those two guys are legit ready and make the rotation in 21, we're looking at a rotation with Mackenzie Gore, Luis Patino, and this is not going to be you know, necessarily the order. I'm just throwing out names here because obviously Lamette would be your ace. So you got Lamette, Gore, Patino, and then maybe Zach Davies and Chris Paddock. Zach Davies and Chris Paddock, very nice four and five guys. You know, They're not going to be your one and two guys, but they're okay for um, end of the rotation type guys. And this is without signing anyone. The question is, though, who will they sign? Because if they get a top tier guy like a Trevor Bauer, or a Blake Snell. They will be amazing. Especially, this is of course, you never know. Gore might come up and, and, and be terrible. But the California League was high A in 2019. I think they're going to go to low A, which is bull. That's another topic for another video, but I'm pissed. But all that said, Mackenzie Gore is awesome. 
And I'm pretty sure, yeah, he's probably not going to have a one point, you know, something ERA, but he is a he has got ridiculous stuff. So you got Mackenzie Gore and, like I said, Luis Patino as well. That is two, there are two really good prospects right there. So the big question is, like I said, who are the Padres going to add to that rotation? Will it be a Bauer Snell type? Will it be more like a, you know, a Mike Miner type, somebody who's decent? You know, decent, very good, but not, you know, he's not a top tier. Or is it going to be someone like a Trevor Cahill who's has to really earn a spot in the rotation? Um, we'll have to wait and see. I don't know who it's going to be, but uh, it's going to be someone. They're going to sign A or multiple starters, guaranteed. Let's take a preliminary look at what we're dealing with here with the Padres. Obviously, we talked about the rotation. They still got a solid bullpen, and if they want to sign a bullpen arm or two, there are plenty available. Mark Melanson's out there, um, and he's just one of many. But they still got Pomeranz. He's awesome. Pagan, Tim Hill, and, you know, Pierce Johnson. Yeah, Pierce Johnson, oh, a couple former Giants on this list here. But, yeah, Javi Guerra, uh, Craig Stammen, and, you know, a decent Adrian Mor Morajon, obviously, some guys who can start on occasion. So the bullpen is, you know, the same pretty much. Uh, they've lost, obviously, there's a couple arms that they would love to have, like Rosenthal, uh, Trevor Rosenthal, among a few others that are free agents. But still, it's very solid. But then you get into this team here with Austin Nola, Eric Hosmer, Jake Cronenworth. You know, he was a, a, a Rookie of the Year candidate. You got Manny Machado, of course, Fernando Tatis Jr., straight-up superstars, Tommy Pham. Hopefully, he's doing all right. He got stabbed. That's kind of a rare injury. You know, we hear about Tommy John surgeries, you know, pulled hamstrings, you know, twisted ankles. But Tommy Pham, he straight got stabbed. So Trent Grisham, Will Myers, and, you know, Austin Nola I mentioned earlier, the Padres, they're going to be heavily favored on almost every prediction to finish second in the West. I really feel that way, and probably in my predictions as well. We'll have to wait and see where I'm going to have them. It's hard for me to do the NL West because I'm a Giants fan, but I try not to be biased, and we'll have to wait and see you know, when that day comes in a couple months when predictions come out. So Padres, this team is legit, and they are amazing. So look out for the Padres in 21. Look out, Dodgers. Don't party too much this offseason. Don't get drunk and, and you know, keep training. Stay in shape. You guys are going to need to compete. It is not going to be just a walk in the park against this Padres team in 21 if you're the Dodgers, and that goes for every other team in the National League. So thank you guys so much for joining me today. Like I said, more content is going to be coming, especially come next year. It's going to be a little sparse for the rest of this month because I'm so busy behind the scenes working on so many things. I'm really busy, but I am putting forth a lot of money towards Hum Baby Baseball. A lot of it thanks to my patrons and members. Thank you so much for your support. You guys are helping me to have a major upgrade come 2021. So look out for that, guys. It's coming. So thank you so much again for your support. Have a fantastic day. Hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed to the channel. We're going to talk to you guys really soon. See ya! Thank you so much for checking out that video. This is Eric, and if you're a fan of Hum Baby Baseball, please check out our store at humbabybaseball.com slash store. We have t-shirts, we have hoodies, we have hats, and we have much more on the way, so you can check out everything we have right there, including the Umpire Strikes Back, one of our many t-shirts, so I would really appreciate if you guys could check that out. Have a fantastic day. We're going to talk to you later. When the Giants come to town